Hey folks, it's Antar and I'm back with my third of the three battles that I had with uh, the Pokemon Master 14 on PBR. Um, so this is my second battle uh, that I used this team with, but this is a new team that I haven't seen of his. Um, so he's seen my team before, and I, but I haven't seen his, so keep that in mind when um, the battle comes around and, you know, he does things that look like amazing predictions. He's seen my team before. Anyway, um, I really wish that he'd told me what his teams were before we set up the matches, because um, of all the teams, I think this is the most OU heavy, and I would have used my OU team. Um, but it is what it is, and I'm using my UU team, my James team, and uh, he leads off with a Hakao down, so he's setting up a nice, good old-fashioned uh, sandstorm. I go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks on the first turn, um, and he goes ahead and Toxics me. Um, I don't think in the last battle he saw that my uh, UFC carries a Lumberry, but um, that's just going to be a wasted move for him, um, because I'm going to go ahead and be cured of the poison. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and attack him. I'm not sure how much Psychic will do, and he probably carries Slack off, so I really should have just switched out at this point once I saw that um, Psychic was doing less than half. But whatever, I decided I'd stay in and just basically see when he switched out. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, sorry folks uh, about my voice, I'm a little sick. Uh, but it means I have more time for editing and uploading battles, so that's nice, because I don't have to go to work. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I get toxic again. Um, I'm a little sad panda that neither of his toxics missed, because that would have been very good for me. Um, but anyway, so with the sandstorm damage and with the toxic damage, I'm going to have to consider switching out at some point. Uh, anyway, at this point, he decides to call back his Hippowdon, um, with... I guess he didn't feel like stalling me out, and there's really nothing he could have done to me since probably his um, only attacking move is Earthquake. Um, and I go ahead and Psychic uh, his Steelix on the switch, it's not going to do anything, so I'm going to have to switch out on the next turn. Um, and I decide I'm going to U-turn it, you know, even though U-turn does a pitiful amount of damage, it does more than zero, which is what I would get if I just did the switch. Um, it's interesting to note that uh, he's not carrying leftovers. Uh, I didn't really think much of it at the time. I figured, um, especially based on the fact that he's about to use a gyro ball, I figured that he was probably carrying an iron ball or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, I switch in my Rotom, uh, which should be able to effectively wall uh, his moveset unless he carries Stone Edge or Rock Slide. Um, but as you see, uh, Gyro Ball, even though he's so much slower than me, is resistant, so it doesn't do too much to me. And I decide I'm going to go ahead and set up a sub predicting that he's going to switch, but even if he doesn't, I don't think Gyro Ball can break my sub. So yeah, I go ahead and set up the sub, um, <clears throat> and you know, that's bringing me down fairly low in health, considering that there's, um, a Sandstorm brewing and it's knocking, uh, it's canceling out my leftovers, and I switch into some rocks, um, but as you see, uh, the substitute does not break, and I get off a Hidden Power Fighting. Um, he didn't, I think in his uh, version of this battle, he didn't quite know um, what hidden power I was using, I think he was thinking fire. Um, but no, it's hidden power fighting, uh, pretty standard on a Rotom. Um, but anyway, his second gyro ball is enough to break my sub, and so I consider what to do here. I decided I'm going to go for another hidden power uh, fighting, because I know I can take one more gyro ball, um, and I just want to kill this Steelix. So I brought him down to fairly low HP, and he goes ahead and gyro balls me again. Um, and it is not enough to take me out. Um, I am surviving decently well. I mean, the sandstorm's gonna get me pretty low, but, um, and I don't, I'm not gonna be able to switch again thanks to the Stealth Rocks. Anyway, he pulls back his Steelix and sends out a Doug Trio, and to this point I know I'm doomed. Um, my Rotom is wasted, <clears throat> because, um, although I do get the Hidden Power fighting on the Switch, uh, it doesn't do enough to kill him, and so he's going to be able, since he's faster than me, he's gonna get off a Night Slash, and that's gonna kill my Rotom. Uh, Night Slash was a little bit overkill, but I don't know what else he was running and if all he, if he was attacking him for things like Earthquake, how much he could have done. Um, so anyway, to take out that, um, that, uh, Doug Trio, I'm gonna go ahead and send in my, uh, Arcanine, which although it's slower, it knows extreme speed, and so I'm gonna easily be able to outspeed him and take him out with an extreme speed, and I don't have to worry about that Doug Trio anymore, so that's pretty great for me. Um, and this match, is, this match is going pretty well, considering he's, he runs a lot of uh, OUs, although I don't think I've seen any yet. Okay, so anyway, he goes ahead and sends out uh, Relicanth, thinking that um, it's going to force my switch because um, his defenses are doubled from Sandstorm, but actually only his special defense is doubled, so, it's another, so Thunderfang is going to hit at full strength, and I think I might be able to do some serious damage to him before he kills me. 
um, because I fully expect him to kill me. Um, so yeah, uh, Thunderfang does a whole lot, um, more than half, um, and I'm accumulating life orb damage. Uh, Relicanth gets off the rock polish, and so I think now he's going to outspeed me, which it, it is what it is, but I figure I'll go ahead and do the extreme speed, get off the maximum amount of damage on this guy I can, and just wait for him to kill me. Um, Unfortunately for him, he misclicks and hits bounce instead of whatever move he was going to use. Uh, so that means I'm able to switch out. Sorry, there was a little problem with my editing. And so I go ahead and switch into Hotterack, my Steelix, um, because that bounce is going to be taken, um, is, is going to be resisted, um, and I will be able to KO it with a super effective Earthquake. I think Gyro Ball is also super effective. Um, he is going to get off a, <clears throat> get off an Aqua Tail on me, which is sad. Um, but it doesn't, uh, it's sad not because it did a lot of damage, but because, as you're going to see, it didn't do enough damage. Um, it did slightly less than 75% or whatever. Um, I need to be under 25% to activate my Custap Berry. Um, if you've seen any of my battles with this team, you know that I run Custap Berry on my Steelix. Um, so anyway, he goes ahead and sends him fly on, and I'm like, did I have to, and at this point I didn't know whether my, um, custom barrier was going to activate, because it would be really nice to take out this guy with an explosion. I was at 45 out of 161 HP, so I've got to pull out. Um, that's sad. And so I go ahead and send in my Marilyn, my Blastoise, thinking I could take pretty much anything from this guy. Um, either a Fire Blast or an Earthquake. And, you, and instead he U-turns, which is unfortunate, because I was really hoping to get off an Ice-type move against him, although he would have certainly switch down on the next turn. Um, so he's called back, and now he has switched priority and goes ahead and sends in Marowak. Um, so I'm expecting a Thunder Punch here, um, but I think I might be able to take it. Um, so Marowak goes ahead and uses uh, Thunder Punch. He actually might be Scarfed um, instead of holding a Thick Club, um, because that did not do very much damage to me. Uh, and he, he also outsped me, um, which I guess I'm not sure uh, whether he would have outsped me without the without everything, considering I didn't invest in my own speed. Anyway, I go ahead and call back my own, um, and send in Hatterack, um, because my Ice Beam did not do enough, and so now, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and explode, because, um, the, uh, the, the Stealth Rock damage got me to 40 HP, which is just what I need, and so I'm gonna kill someone, uh, whether it's Marowak, or whether it's someone he switches, and I'm really hoping he's not gonna realize that I had the Custap Berry, and he's going to switch into, um, his Flygon. Unfortunately, he switches into Hippowdon, um, which, you know, it's nice that I'm going to be able to kill off the Powdown, but I had other things I could kill it, so, um, Explosion is going to take it out, and that's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing either. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, yeah, the Powdown dies, as does my Steelix, and we're running pretty evenly in this match, which is pretty impressive for my team, considering, again, number one, he's seen it before, and number two, he's running lots of OUs on this team. This is probably the most OU heavy out of the three teams that he used against me. Anyway, he sends his Steelix out, and it's down to basically no HP, um, and I'm kind of questioning that move, but I go ahead and send in my Kyoko, because whoever he sent in would be weak against Ice. Um, unfortunately, I didn't realize that he had a Custap Berry, too. Uh, my Steelix was the, is the only one that I've ever seen carry a Custap Berry, and I was so surprised here. And this completely ruined uh, my strategy, because Kyoko could have taken on everyone else on his team everyone else, but unfortunately, um, that explosion is going to kill it, and so I'm down to two Pokemon left, I think, and, um, you know, they're going to be able to do some amount of, oh wait, I guess that's three Pokemon, um, to his two, but, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to, um, win this match anymore. Uh, anyway, uh, I send in Blake for the ex uh, priority extreme speed, uh, this is going to be its last move, one way or the other. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the KO here, but I am going to be able to get a lot of dam <clears throat> damage, thanks to the fact that I run Max Attack and Life Orb. Um, again, I'm really sorry about my voice, folks. Um, so yeah, I take him down to less than half, um, and it's going to depend on... It's, I'm going to be really curious what he decides to lock himself into. Um, the smart move, of course, would be U-turn. Uh, actually, no, U-turn would have been a bad move, in my opinion, because then I have the switch priority, uh, the, the, sorry, the switch advantage, um, because he would have taken me out. But anyway, whatever it is, I send in my Maryland, and I'm hoping that I can survive a U-turn. I'm really hoping so I can get off a 4x effective, um, or sorry, 2x effective Ice Beam against his Marowak. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out that way. My health is just too darn low, um, and, uh, 
Although, so now he sends out his Marowak, but um, I'm dead. My Blastoise is dead. Um, so again, very sad, very sad here. Um, and I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is Uxie, uh, which isn't the strongest attacker, but Marowak also doesn't have the best stats in the world. Uh, and also, on top of everything else, I'm poisoned, and there's a sandstorm brewing, so, um, my chances of winning this match are slim to none. Yeah, as you see, there's two Pokemon left, um, to my <laughs> lone Uxie. Uh, so he goes ahead and uses a double edge, um, and it does pretty much nothing. Um, I think the sandstorm plus the poison is going to do more in the uh, final estimation. And so anyway, I get off of Psychic, <clears throat> and that is going to be enough to kill him, which is nice, um, so at least it's going to be a... Uh, five, uh, a one-zero loss for me rather than a two-zero loss. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for him to send out his, yeah, I, I survive the poison and everything. Um, but now his Flygon is obviously going to outspeed me, and any of his attacks besides, like, I guess, Earthquake are going to kill me. Um, I guess I'd kind of hoped that he would use a, an attack with less than 100% accuracy and the hacks would have won over. But no such luck there, and I lose the match. So, um, the Pokemon Master 14, very, very good uh, game. Uh, I hope to battle you again in, I guess, the Gen 5 days since you've given up on Gen 4. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. And I have another uh, few seconds to go. Oh, yeah, I got 100 subs a few days ago. So, woo, go me! Uh, okay, so long, folks.